in it for the bling. Yeah, I do a lot of road races, so um, got that one. Uh, just finished my set. So I'm going to attempt to take you through my pad, which is dirty right now. Basic setup here is I, I do not I do not have the brackets on. Um, I used to, but if I, I really want to put them back on, but I also want to um, make it sure that they're flush, so I haven't really messed with the Lexan or anything. Um, wanted to show you. Yes, they are countersunk for the most part. You can tell the difference between, say, like this screw in front here. Can't focus on it, but it's this one, these, and then how this one is not. Um, that I can't help you with. I had somebody else do that, and it was before we got the machine anyway. So I I keep one screw on the um, up arrow here because I take this off a lot. I have a lot of problems with this. So this is my dirty arrow for many reasons. Um, ignore this powder. I don't like powder. It makes for this film. There's film and I like can scratch it off. Let's see. It's it's not wanting to come off right now but you can kind of see that. So let's open Dish Peppies up. Um, one little thing I like to do is I like to add tape on the inside of the panel. It makes it for to be a little bit softer sounding, in my opinion, but that's just total personal preference. This is my dirty arrow, and as you can tell, my neon is broken. It was broken when I got it. There's all this, ew. Um, probably a combination of like field grass, sand, and cat hair, powder, you name it. I found nails in here before, so not not the kind you put into walls. Anyway, um, the way I have this set up, and these, I'll show you what I've done with all the other rows, which are a little bit different. Um, I make sure that on this, this is nice and like not, it, it can move, I guess. I put some uh, WD-40 on it, these little screws here, to make sure that they're lubricated and whatnot. I use electric tape this is a very personal preference, um, but I find that electric tape is very thin, very soft, but also very hard at the same time. This mimics a lot of how the cobalt flux used to feel, whether that's positive or negative, it, you, you take it with a grain of salt. Um, I don't like squishy pads. That's just not how I do things. Um, I do not have this back sensor connected, but all my other sensors are connected. That's also personal preference. Most people just have this one plugged in. Um, but yeah, there's that. What I like to do to increase like a little bit of sensitivity is do some wrapping. Mind you, do not wrap it tightly or else it'll just misfire everywhere. Um, I don't know if my upper is a very good like case for modding. So we're going to explore the right arrow. The right arrow is way more obedient. Anyway, we're gonna come over here. It's actually kind of hard to do one-handed. Wait, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Wait, crap, I don't know which way I'm going. Anyway, apparently I'm going that way. A lot of my screws are rusted and not so fun to mess with. These are actually after I've put them in like soda drink and tried to get the rust off. It actually worked pretty well. Um, do what you want with your own machine, but it's not going to get them perfectly clean. This thing just does not like to focus. Um, once again, I like to take one off. I, can't, I gotta sit this down. Game over. Okay, yeah, that, that's how long it takes to save. Oh, I only burned 5,000 calories a day. Yesterday I burned 13. Anyway, this is how I have this one set up. This LED is nice and uh, working and stuff, so we do not like to bother it. Um, so what I have done here, I'll show you this sensor. This is a clean arrow. This is clean. I clean this out. It still has like a little bit of powder on it, but as you can tell, there's no like dust. 
they're starting to accumulate dust, but whatever. Um, I put some little squishy pads here. Not necessarily foam. Foam is really thick and squishy. Um, this is some sort of tape, like molding tape, mold, modeling tape, something. Um, these, these sensors I have put in the right way. Contrary to popular belief, this is the right way to put the sensor in along the track. Um, <laughs> if you look at, like I had two original sensors that had never been moved and they were facing this way. So I'm assuming that's, that is actually the way you're supposed to put them in. So I put them all back in this way and I haven't had any problems with my right arrow. Um, like I said, what I did was when I initially modded this, I just had everything clean. There was no tape. And then I slowly put one piece of tape around every single one so they all had the same amount of tape. But this is, this is an art, so not every sensor is at the same millimeter level, like up, I guess. So that's when you start doing like some testing in your mods menu. But yeah, um, I also have put you cannot see it, but there's actually one piece of um, tape underneath these that is similar to what is on here. That uh, that way I don't have to wrap the sensor. So that's why my up arrow is kind of ghetto compared to my other ones, and this arrow works perfectly fine. So there's that. This is much different from how my Cobalt Flux is modded. Um, if you want me to go into that again, I can. I can make an updated video, but the information um, has not changed since I made that modding video. I have not found a better way to mod the Cobalt Flux. It still works, as you can see. I played some songs on it the other day, like I think last week or something, when the machine was fried. Well, literally, it was fried. It was just, it was just not fun. Um, trying to figure out that problem. Um, but yeah, it still works just the same. You can see. Um, but yeah, so this is the general distance between the pad and the machine. Um, some people think it's a lot, but I like the screen a little bit further away. I find it easier to read. So if I'm like back here when I'm playing, uh, that's what the screen looks like to me. And I have my like Twitch set up over there. So yes, like I can see it when people chat, which I don't usually have a very chatty chat. Um, but I do read the messages. I just have to read them between songs. Eventually I hope to get like a bigger screen and be able to just kind of have a whole setup in this area. I also plan on having a face cam soon. Um, but that's going to be after I move, which I have to move the machine. Um, but yeah, so my feet are really small. So if I put my heels on the edge of the panels, this is how small my feet are. Um, I'm, candles are hard. But yeah, so this is the side of our machine. Uh, rest in peace, the side panels that we had to take off to get it down those stairs. Other areas of interest might be my bike. Love my bike. Oh, shiny. Oh, nice. I'm going to do Iron Man at the, in September this year, so wish me luck. Um, but yeah, any other questions, any other kind of requests that you want to know, just post in the comments below. Um, and if you're new to this channel, hit that red subscribe button right away. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not, um, not really about that. This is more of kind of like my journal of ITG-ness, so... Yeah. That concludes the tutorial. Um, I like pushing. Um, I have my little, little, little crew over here. Um, but yeah, it's my 30th birthday. I'm just posted a video, hopefully, uh, depending on how long this takes me to edit this, of my high score on a 17. So. There's that, um, and if there's anything else that you want to see, uh, just let me know. So, but other than that, peace out. It could be about clothes, it could be about anything, I don't care.